Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We're going to uh, take a look at what the overnight models did uh, because uh, there seems to be uh, something happening uh, as far as uh, up here, which is where we've been focusing our attention on. Um, and by the way, uh, again, I just want to make clear, I made this clear, I think, in my piece from last night. I'm talk When I talk in the context of a pattern change, don't assume that it means that we're suddenly going to go into some sort of deep freeze. Uh, things like this in the atmosphere are a process. Uh, it's a process that could take um, a couple of weeks to work through. And ultimately, I really don't know what it's all going to mean and where it's going to wind up. So let's just be clear that I, of what I am saying and what I'm not saying. I'm not saying winter storms are imminent. I'm not saying we're going into a deep freeze. I'm saying let's watch this from day to day and see what happens. And if you look up in Canada, now <clears throat> I've been pointing out up here how this has all been locked away, and we kind of know this, but as we move it along through time, I just want to show you, now this is the run from uh, a couple of hours ago on the GFS. So you see how as we get toward the end, we're starting to see this push of cold air come into the United States. So this is a definite change here. Uh, we are opening up an alleyway for cold air to come into the U.S., even though the bitter cold air is way to the north. But this is a different look than having all of this locked up away up here. And I think if you want to see where exactly uh, where the changes are, even better, if just watch, if you watch what happens over Alaska and over uh, the Bering Straits, you can see how the air warms up over time. Okay, so there, there was a big upper air storm that's sitting up there, and that's being replaced. So that's a significant change in what the overall look is. Now, I'll put up um, what it looks like on the actual jet stream map. And you can see here, I'm going to start it back through here. Let me just set it in motion, and I'll speed it up so this way I can talk and watch it. I still tap it at the same time. Um, there we go. So, okay, so now we are into next week. You can see there's a ridge that builds in the east. You can see what's going on up here. But notice, as you get past about day 11 or 12, all of this changes, okay? Now, you take that low that's been sitting out here near the Aleutians, okay, which is kind of an El Nino signature, and it moves out of the way. We've seen a, a few runs do this. Uh, and by the way, I'm looking at the, the run now right now that came out at midnight last night, all right? And you can see that shifts away uh, uh, over time. Uh, we're now going into December 7th, and then there's that big vortex where you don't want it, and then it's gone. Then it moves out, um, and the next one swings in, but then we have a big ridge that's replacing it over in the Gulf of Alaska. So uh, the whole pattern flavor changes here over time and i think what are the th this is what we're going to have to look at with regards to this particular run it made a and i don't know i, I i'm thinking that this is just nonsense but uh, it made a very big storm that goes into the great lakes and it seems to me that this particular run uses that as a sort of a catalyst to get everything else going now that lifts up and then you can see another one rotates down Right. That's that's important because supposing that's not there, and I think it's quite likely that it's not going to be there, not in this form, um, this look may be a little bit different. But again, the main focus is what's going on up here. It looks like something is readjusting. And by the way, this would be at around the time frame, in my experience, when you get into these weather patterns that kind of lock in on the long scale they they do the do it for about six to eight weeks and then after about six to eight weeks the pattern gets a little long in the tooth and it begins to break down and uh, change into something else and we are right now I believe the way I'm counting it from mid October when we had the cold blast we're in week number seven and uh, so that tells me that next week being uh, week number eight is about the time that you get a process underway and these processes take can take a couple of weeks. If you're a winter, uh, a winter weather and a, and a snow lover, just bear in mind that we could wind up evolving into something that you don't like. So uh, I'm not sure where this is all going, and I'm not sure that anybody really knows where this is all going. But as I've been saying, the adventure continues.